is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So I'm very, very excited to be making this video today. Um, today I will be doing a full face using Wet n Wild makeup. And as you see on my channel, like I like I don't discriminate like products and brands. Like I use kind of like a little bit of everything. So I never do like a full face of any one brand. However, Wet n Wild was so kind, DM'd me on Instagram and asked if they could send me a box of products. And I was just like literally about to cry when I got it because they're just such a big brand and for them to notice me was like I have no words like it's one thing for a brand to reach out and say hey can I send you product in exchange for a post or a video um Wet n Wild literally reached out and just said can I send you product like I didn't have to do anything with it like they were just sent it to me and I am like literally just so grateful. Bit of ranting, but wanted to also thank you guys so much for your constant support because without you guys, like like I would have no audience and that I would have like no purpose in doing what I'm doing. And so yeah, you guys are the absolute best. So yeah, I think everything I'm using today, they sent me in that box except for lip product. I don't think I got any lip product from that box, but I will still be using a Wet n Wild lip product so I can do a full face. All right, let's get started. Um, they did send me a couple of these Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus foundations. This is a foundation that I have been using, and so I know I'm not a primer person, so I'm actually just going to skip primer, even though they did include some in that box. I know this product sits really well on my face without primer, so I'm going to go ahead and just put this on. This is in the shade Golden Beige, and I am just taking a beauty blender and putting this on my face. If you are comparing this foundation to something a little bit higher end, like I know I use Too Faced a lot, I find that I do use a little more of this foundation than I would a Too Faced product, but there's like so much in this bottle. I mean, it's a standard one fluid ounce and it's so affordable and it actually still feels lightweight even if you are using a little bit more. So to set my face, I'm using this banana powder that they sent me. This is a pretty large container. I don't know, it's not that travel friendly, but it is the banana powder, so it's kind of tinted more of a beige color. It's not translucent like your normal setting powders. What I like to do is I like to take a really long brush. Like I don't bake at all. I like to take a like a really soft, long bristled brush and just dust a really light layer over my face. I find that that's enough to set. So next I'm using their retractable brow pencil. The shade that they sent me was medium brown and it has a spoolie here at the end and when you screw this up, it is actually that, I don't know how you say it. It's not like one of your like really thin pencils, it's more of like the thicker pencils, which I don't mind, honestly. Medium brown is probably a little bit light, but I think I'll make this work. And I am just going to pencil in my brows. I do like brow pencils because they're fast. Um, otherwise, I do like to use powder as well. Okay, so I actually really liked that brow pencil. It was super easy to work with. I think they're even. So you sent me two of these little eyeshadow palettes. This one that I'm using is called My Glamour Squad. And I really like these palettes because they have like a combination of um, different colors that you can use to create a look. Matte, shimmers, lights, darks. So to start, I'm going to take this transition color up here, and I am going to put that kind of above my crease, kind of where my eye socket is, blowing that out a little bit, using this as a true transition color, um, using kind of like a bigger brush for this. Next, I'm going to take this maroon shade, and I am going to put that more concentrated in my crease, and then um, bring it down. I think I'm going to do a bit of a halo eye today, so I'm bringing it down in the inner and outer corners of my eye as well. I'm not bringing this up as high as I did my transition color and I'll probably go back with that transition color and help blend that out on the top as well. So next I'm going to use actually some of their liquid eyeshadows that they sent me as well. So the two that I will be using today, the kind of bronzy one is called Shells and Whistles and then the gold one is called Golden Goldilocks. And I'm basically going to kind of tap this on my eye, but then maybe just use a brush so that it can be more precise. I am using the bronzy one kind of like at the, um, in the center of my halo, and then the gold one just like right on top, right in the middle, just for that bit of extra pop. I have actually never used these before, so I'm really looking forward to trying these. I do like liquid eyeshadows in general when they dry down, because I do have greasy eyelids, so hopefully this will dry down. 
Okay, so now that those are on my eyes, I will say that the Shells and Whistles, so this like more bronzy tone, this looked more like a chrome in the tube and then this Goldilocks looked more like a glitter in the tube. The bronze, the like chromey color definitely applied better. It dried down almost right away, but not quite too fast and it applied really evenly and I absolutely love it. This Goldilocks, the like kind of it just feels like more of a chunky glitter and I wasn't expecting that and so like it, it I feel like is a little bit patchy in the way that glitters are you know and so just having to like apply more in certain places but either way sweet really love these so next I'm going to add eyeliner just to be really extra they sent me one of these little felt tip eyeliner pens I think it's felt tip yes ultra fine felt tip eyeliner this is their skinny tip laser precision eyeliner and I'm just going to open it. Oh my goodness, it is a super skinny. So this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm not sure how much product is in this. It could be really misleading, but it is really skinny and more on the, the smaller side, but I feel like most Wet n Wild liners are a little bit smaller. Anyway, I am just going to attempt to do a cat eye with these with wing liner. I get really nervous when I do wing liner with a new eyeliner, especially if it's on camera because every liner is different and I really hope I don't mess this up for you guys. Okay, so I feel like that's probably as even as it's going to get. It actually drew over that liquid liner, like liquid eyeshadow glitter pretty well. The tip is so fine that it's the finest tip I've definitely ever worked with and I actually I'm looking forward to using this for more like graphic eyeliner looks or like kind of more artsy looks because I don't need a tip that's quite that fine for my eyeliner I feel like or maybe I'm just not used to working with it anyway super thin tip so I did also just realize that I don't have lashes in my box and I don't actually have wet and wild lashes I can't find them actually anywhere the target by my house does not have them anyway I'm gonna pop on lashes be right back Okay, so now I'm actually going to be going back in with that goldy luxe color. I don't know why I can't remember that. I'm going to pop this into the inner corners of my eyes. I know I said it was a bit of like a chunky glitter, but I think that is what I want. Next, moving on to the rest of my face for contour. They sent me their contour makeup stick. And this is in the shade Where's Walnut. And I actually had one. Um, the other one I had was Call Me Maple. It looks like a warmer brown, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the one they sent me because it looks like a cooler brown. It also looks pretty dark, so I'm gonna try to not go crazy with it. But I'm basically lining like the hollows of my cheeks, kind of a little bit by my forehead as well, and then just a tiny bit by my nose. And then I'm taking a brush and just blending this out. Next for blush, I'm using this Color Icon blush. This is in the shade Keep It Peachy. And they did also send me this in the box. They did also send one of those like blush sticks that I was just using for contour, but I think I'm, I just like powders a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one, taking a fluffy brush and just brushing this on the apples of my cheeks. And then for highlighter, I am using their Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This one is in the shade Bloom Time and I, love these highlighting powders like I have I have the mega gold palette I have these in singles these are like the best highlighters ever for the money you can get like it is amazing and I love them lastly for lips I'm using their liquid cat suit this is in the shade cedar, cedar later um, like I said, this is the only product that really, like didn't really come from the box. They did not include a lip product, which is fine because I'm already so grateful. Yeah, these things are really affordable. I think they're like five bucks. Okay, so that is it for my full face wet and wild makeup tutorial. Um, this is a very like kind of like neutral. Is it neutral? Um, this is I would probably wear this out at night just because the wing liner is so big and. <laughs> I went a little crazy with the highlighter, but oh my gosh, this is just such an affordable face. One while it's such an affordable brand. That is enough for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I just ah, cannot believe I got all these products and they were so nice and sending me these. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, for hitting like, for leaving me comments. 
Um, I love you guys so much and you know for some of the items that I know I won't use or the ones that I already have I'm probably going to end up putting them in my next giveaway which I will probably do on Instagram so make sure you catch me there but yes I'm done I'll see you guys later bye